So now we will fake a user signing in just so we have that user to work with. And then what we can do is uh, create an index file that's essentially going to act as a if statement to say you are a member or you're not a member. Uh, we're obviously going to create a connection to our database in this part as well. And we can use that for later parts of the series. So over in my text editor then in the uh, main directory, let's create a new folder. I'm going to call this source. This can be app or something like that. All we're going to do within here is create a new file called start.php. And this is going to contain quite a lot, probably more than you would write. But this is going to do things like fake the user sign in, which we're going to do in a moment. It's going to require in our dependencies. It's going to set up our API keys, set the config for the API, set our connection to our database, etc. So the first thing we want to do then is start up sessions so we can use sessions. This is useful as well so we can store the hash which we spoke about when we uh, set up our database. So let's create a session here and the key is going to be user ID and we'll set that to one. So this is like you would do if you were authenticating a user, you'd store this in some kind of session. Now what we want to do is set a, a connection to our database. We're going to be using PDO for this. Now the driver is going to be MySQL, obviously you can use any database. The host here is going to be localhost or 127.0.0.1 and then we have a DB name which in my case is site, most likely it will be different for you. We then have uh, credentials, login credentials, in my case it's homestead and the password is secret. So now that we have a connection to our database we can pull our user data down so let's create a variable called user and we'll create a prepared statement just so we protect, protect ourselves against SQL injection. So I'm going to select everything from the users table. You don't need to select everything. And that's going to be where the ID of the user equals. And then we create our placeholder, which we can replace in just a moment when we execute this query. So let's execute this. So we say user execute and in here we pass an array with the values that we want to replace with the placeholder so in this case the placeholder name is user id like here and we assign that the value of the session key of user id so that will put one in this place basically so now what we can do is just say user equals user fetch object simple as that so let's create then a index.php file. Let's head over here, save this out in this directory, and let's obviously open up some PHP tags. Now let's uh, require in that start file. That's really important. So we want to require in source start.php. And then let's do a var dump on user, just so we can see what that user variable here contains and you can probably imagine it's going to contain all of the information that we're pulling from the database and this way we can use the email if we need to send that off to paypal uh, we probably don't in this case but with some providers you might and whether they're a member or not so then inside of index.php what we can actually do is generate some kind of document which we can then output something down here so let's use very basic PHP templating and we're going to say if user member we want to do something and then let's say else and let's end that if there like so. So if they are a member we just want to say you are a member and otherwise we want to say you are not a member and we can create a link going through. In this case, it's just going to be a hash for now. This will eventually be our checkout uh, process start. Uh, we'll just say become a member. This can obviously be anything. So now if we refresh, uh, we expect to see you are not a member, become a member. Obviously, let's get rid of this far dump here. That's not really needed. And if we change the value inside of our database to one, we should expect to see that go to you are a member. So we've created the very basic functionality that actually tells us if this user is a member or not. So for now, let's set that back to zero and we can continue on. 
So next, we're actually going to look at pulling in our composer autoload file. Remember earlier we pulled down the PHP uh, SDK for PayPal. And then we're going to pass in our uh, token credentials, our, our OAuth token credentials, which will basically be our client ID and our secret. 